Hey guys, Dumani here with another video on kind of Dokkan Battle today. today. Today we got something more serious to talk about, so it's not going to be any actual gameplay. Um, it's something that might actually be the end of glo uh, Global Dokkan, basically, for us US players. If you guys play JP, you really don't... Actually, if you play JP, you don't have a whole lot to worry about, but the microtransactions you may not be able to do in the United States anymore. So it, does, it may affect you. I'm not sure exactly how that works. Uh, but let me just get right into this video so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So, my buddy Nas uh, if you guys haven't followed Nas on YouTube, make sure to go do that. Awesome, awesome dude. Uh, he retweeted this from Kotaku. And uh, I wanted to go... I love... <laughs> I love that gif. I could watch it like a thousand times. But anyways, he retweeted this from uh, Kotaku right here. U U.S. Senator introduces bill to ban loot boxes and pay to win microtransactions so this is an actual bill um that could potentially pass in the united states um so i pulled up the article right here and i wanted to read it with you guys and kind of debunk everything and go over everything because if this bill passes there's a, a very high chance that would be the end of do global dokon like it's not it's no it's no laughing matter so uh let's go ahead and read it guys uh senator josh Hawley today announced a bill that would ban loot boxes and pay to win microtransactions in games played by minors. Believe it or not, yes, Dokkan Battle is a game targeted at minors. It really is. A broad label that the senator says will include both games designed for kids under 18, game, uh, under 18 and games whose developers knowingly allow minors to engage in microtransactions. So, I don't know how I feel about that. I, and, I mean, you you gotta have parents' permissions to make those purchases, anyways. And there's a lot of like parental controls that stop minors from making those purchases. So it, it is still a loot box, though. Okay, so Holly will introduce the bill, the Protecting Children from Abusive Games Act. So it's, it's serious stuff, guys. To U the U.S. Senate soon. In press materials announcing that uh, announcing the bill, Holly, I hope I'm saying his name right. Holly's team brought up the uh, Activision game Candy Crush. As an example, the pay-to-win microtransactions thanks to its $150 Luscious bundle. So screw you, Candy Crush. Uh, that comes with a whole bunch of goodies. This bill will also likely apply to a host of online games that feature loot boxes and other ways in which players can spend money for real benefits. So, um, Dokkan is not necessarily a loot box game. It is a gacha game. Basically, it's, a big, it's the same thing as opening up a baseball card pack. You, you don't know what you're going to get but it would still fall under this category. Games like Fortnite, it doesn't, see, I got a hair in my mouth. It doesn't really affect, like, I, I know like Fortnite, it doesn't really affect gameplay. It's all cosmetic stuff. So I don't know like if the lines, sorry, I got a text message. Don't know the lines and bounds on that. Uh, but let's keep reading guys. When a game is designed for kids, game developers shouldn't be allowed to monetize uh, addiction. Holly said in press release, and when kids play games designed for adults, they should be walled off from compulsive microtransactions. Game developers who knowingly exploit children should face legal consequences. This falls for Dokkan right here. Last fall, the Federal Trade Commission promised to investigate loot boxes, EA, following a letter from Senator Maggie Hassan uh, that she wrote in the wake of 2017 sting of games featuring the heavy usage of uh, predatory microtransactions such as Middle Earth, Shadow of War, Star Wars Battlefront 2. Although some companies have pulled back on the practice, popular games like Overwatch, FIFA, Apex Legends continue to make big money off randomized, randomized microtransactions. Many of those games are played by both adults and children. This is true. It's absolutely true. Um, Fortnite, Apex Legends. I, I never actually played Shadows of Mordor. F FIFA, I know, is really bad. Overwatch. But it doesn't affect actual gameplay, so it's not pay to win, but it's still a loot box uh, system. Holly39 has become known in Washington for criticizing major tech companies. Facebook, Google, often accusing them of anti-conservative uh, anti bias. Here's a little update for you. Uh, the Entertainment Software Association, the video game industry lobbyist group. This is good stuff. Uh, sent over a statement shortly after this bill was introduced. Numerous countries, including Ireland, Germany, Sweden, Denmark, Australia, New Zealand, and the United Kingdom, determined that loot boxes do not constitute gambling. It kind of does. It, like, I, as much as I want to see Dokkan, like, last forever, it, it, it is gambling. It's, like, I have a gambling addiction when it comes to Dokkan. Uh, we look forward to sharing with the Senator the tools and information the industry already provides that keeps the control of in-game spending in parents' hands. This is also true. 
Parents already have the ability to limit or prohibit in-game purchases with easy to use parental controls. So this is very controversial right now. Uh, it's it's not hard for me to go out and just, you know, I, I've never actually looked at the parental control settings on Google or my PlayStation or whatnot, but I'm, I'm assuming that you can put a lock on things of what they can buy. But it, it, even if the parents were to, you know, approve these transactions, it's still gambling for minors. It, it, it absolutely is. The loot box mechanic, Dokkan, Legends. What do you guys think about this? Like, this is actually some serious stuff. This is not a bill personally that I want to pass because, you know, it, I make a lot of content on Legends and Dokkan. Um, but it would also mean, you know, like games like, I don't know, uh, games that have loot boxes inside of them would probably actually cost more. I think the days of the $60 game, if this were to pass, the $60 game, you might see games at like $100, like like way up there, just because like, oh, we don't have microtransactions to feed anymore. I guess we just have to produce the whole game as one, and that's just how it's going to have to be. All right, guys, um, I did it. I, I just wanted to shed some light on this. Let me know in the comments what you think overall. It does take, there's a lot, there's a huge process, you know, in order to get a bill to actual, actually pass. And I'm sure the video game companies and a lot of CEO, a lot of people would be fighting it. But um, I, could, I could see this being a potential threat into our gaming community. So guys, let me know in the comments your thoughts. I wanna know what you think. Uh, I'm gonna be answering comments all day so we can discuss it. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video. Subscribe if you're new here for more news on this. Uh, turn notifications on. And if you haven't already, smash that like button down there. It helps out the tra uh, channel tremendously. It screws with YouTube's algorithm, which is always nice. Starts recommending my videos and stuff. So I appreciate you. I love you guys. And I hope you have a great day. Laters.